Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to show you how to do a cinemagraph and it's a little animated uh, kind of uh, picture. Uh, like an animated GIF, but it's a little different. So we're going to use the Microsoft Research uh, Blink application. It's called Blink for the Phone 8. It's called Blink Clipits for Windows 8 and Cliplets for Windows 7. And I'm going to use Windows 7. All right. And I'm going to show you how to quickly create a cliplet or a cinemagraph. So the first thing is I uh, just used my cell phone, of all things, uh, yesterday and just did a quick little video of uh, just some windmills, just handheld. You're supposed to use a tripod, but it's not going to matter as much for this example. And you can see the picture's kind of drifting around a bit, which is absolutely fine. So I'm going to minimize that. I've uh, got cliplets installed. Then all I do is take a video file and just drag it and drop it, and it loads the video. Now here's the cool thing. After it loads the video, it actually goes through the video and lines it. So if it is moving a bit, like a little drift, like I had, it fixes all that. It also does a bit of warping as well if the uh, if you moved a little left to right or, or tilted the camera a bit to keep it as stable as possible. So now if you were to take a look at the video here, it's perfectly straight. The frame, the actual windmill is not moving, but you can see the edge is, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to pause that. I'm going to add a layer. And with the layer, you basically get to pick what you want to move in the actual video. So the trick with this one is to have this blade just kind of move uh, to the actual post. And that way, it looks like it's constantly rotating, but you don't need to get a full revolution um, of that. So as you can see, as I move this, see it's moving. And this is the start. So I'm going to just put it so then that blade, that bottom blade here, is aligned with that post. That's going to be kind of like my start, if you will. So right about there. And then the end, if you see, I can manage this until I get to the next. There you go. So that blade, the next blade touched that. And that is going to be uh, my animated portion of that. So I'm going to circle that because that's what I want using the pen. And if I want the other ones to move as well, I can add another layer. And again, you would have to go through that same process if you want the same uh, duration. Let me just do that and do that. So every time you want to add another animation or animated section, you just need to add another mask. And that's it. So I'm going to export this. And I'm going to call this uh, Windmill uh, 3. As you can see, I've been goofing around with it. And there you go, rendering cliplet. And it basically creates a GIF that you could put on a web page or whatever whatever app you want that supports animated GIFs. So now if I double click on that animated GIF, you can see there it is. And because I got that uh, blade going there, it looks like it's constantly turning when in fact it's only one quarter or one third of that. And the other one is rotating as well. That's it. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.